click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we will study a nested if-else. Now in the previous uh, videos we have studied how to write a program using a simple if-else statement. Then we saw how to write a program using switch statement. Now we will see how to write a program using multiple if-else and else if ladder. <music> So this is the syntax of nested ifs. Now basically when we use nested ifs, so when we check more than one condition at a time, at that time we make a use of what? Nested ifs or else if ladder. So we will first see a syntax of what? Nested ifs. Now see this is the syntax of nested ifs. If test condition 1. If this condition is true, you will jump inside and you will check whether test condition is true Two is true or not so if my test condition 2 is true you have to execute statement 1 else you have to execute statement 2 else you will be executing statement 3 so it means what this else is for this so if this condition is true then you have to execute statement 1 else you have to execute statement 2 and if this condition is true then you will be going inside the this pattern and if this condition is not true, then you will be executing what? Statement 3. So this is how we execute a nested if else statement. I am repeating again. If this condition is true, then you will go inside this. Here again you will check whether my test condition test condition 2 is true or not. If it is true, then you will be executing statement 1. If it is not true, then you will be executing statement 2. And if my test condition 1 is not true, in that case you will be executing what statement 3. So we will see a syntax with the help of one example. Now see here I am checking a greater number between 3 numbers. So basically I have 3 numbers here A, B and C and I have to check which number is greater. So while comparing between 3 numbers I have to start comparison between all these 3 numbers like I have to check whether A is greater than B or it is greater than C and so on. And then among all these 3 numbers I have to find out what the greatest number. So how I will do basically I will check if A is greater than B. So basically if your A is greater than B then you have to jump inside the in, inner if statement okay. So if my A is greater than B then what you will do you will jump inside and you will check if your A is greater than C also. So if your A is greater than C then you will write largest is A else you will write what largest is C. Now if your A is not greater than B then you will skip this part and you will jump onto this else part. Then you will check if my B is greater than C. Now see here my A is not greater than B. Then I will jump onto this part and I will check if my B is greater than C. So if my B is greater than C then obviously your largest is going to be otherwise your largest is going to be a C. So for an example suppose if I take A as 45, B as 13 and C as 35. Then what will happen here? I will check if my A is greater than B. Now A is 45 and B is 13. So yes, my A is greater than B. So in this case, I have to jump into this. So I will check if my A is greater than C. Now what my A is? A is 45 and C is 35. So who is greater? Yes, A is greater. And I will get largest as A. So it means I compared my A with B also and C also. Now in the other way, suppose if the this was the case 1. Now suppose if the case 2 is like this 13, 45 and let us make it as what uh, this is let it be 35 only. Then what will happen here again I will check between A and B. Now who is greater? A is 13 and B is 45 so B is greater. If B is greater then you won't check this. Directly you will jump onto else part and you will check if my B is greater than C also. Now what is my B? B is 45. I will check whether it is greater than C also. Yes, it is greater than C also and I will get the answer as what? Largest is B. So this is how we check for the multiple E-fills or you can say this is how we check for the nested E-fills. Now the next is else if ladder. Now in the else if ladder, the syntax is if my condition 1, then I will be executing statement 1. 
else if i will check condition 2 and i will go for statement 2 else if i will check condition 3 and i will go for statement 3 else if i will check condition n and i will go for statement n else i will be executing what default statement so in the else if basically again you have to check what multiple condition so we'll understand the else if ladder with the help of one example now suppose if the example is if we want to allocate grading to a student based on their percentage so if my percentage are greater than 79 then my grading is going to be a distinction if it is greater than 59 then i will be having what first class if it is greater than 49 then i will be having what second class and if it is less than 49 then i will be fail so it means what i have to check the multiple conditions at the same time how are we doing this with the help of else if ladder I will check whether if my percentage is greater than 79 then my grade is going to be what distinction else if my percentage is greater than 59 what I will get is first class else if my percentage is greater than 49 I will be getting what second class and else grade is equal to fail so this is how I make a use of what else if ladder so let us compare this example with the else if ladder a syntax my syntax was if condition one statement one so i checked for what if my percentage are seven greater than 79 then distinction else if i will check for the another grade that is if my percentage are greater than 59 then i will be having what first class then again else if my percentage are greater than 49 then i will be having what second class and else the default statement and that statement is going to be what fail that is if if your percentage are not coming between any one of these categories then your grade is going to be what fail so this is how i you i make a use of what else if ladder so i hope you have understood the syntax of nested if else and else if ladder thanks for watching this video